Hey guys, this is uh, Jared uh, coming back with another message. I know it's been a long time, but I was, I was down here lifting and uh, really felt Holy Spirit reach in, touch my heart, and put something put something on my mind that I just can't get away with. Uh, just keeps popping up and popping up, and I just I just want to tell you guys, you know, we're coaches, we're trainers, and uh, we see a lot of success and, and a lot of uh, failures, a lot of victories, a lot of losses, and. Uh, like I, I want to tell everybody that none of that should define us, um, especially if you're a Christian. Um, the only victory that matters is that Jesus gave us victory over sin and um, gave us eternal life with him. And we should walk every day with him, knowing that we are a success, not because of ourselves, but because of him. Um, I see a lot of people getting down. And um, when you know Jesus, when you know God's right there by you, holding your hand, guiding you, you know everything's going to work out okay. Um, I know a lot of us need to hear that, and I need to remind myself of that uh, when we're going through the struggles of the day-to-day -day lives, or even the highs. The highs, you get really high, you get up, you're having a lot of success in your life, and um, you kind of forget about God. And and those lows hit really quick. You know, you know I mean, bad things happen all the time. And um, the great thing is that you know, by believing in Jesus Christ and asking for his salvation through him, that you'll have eternal life and you'll be with him forever. And he's out there fighting for you. He's paving the way. He's clearing He's clearing the enemy stronghold to help you because he loves you. He loves you more than you'll ever know. And um, if you don't know Jesus, just ask him. Ask him to show himself to you, you know. Um, and then once... You're ready. You know, there's no time better than now. Ask him to be your king. Ask him for salvation. He died for you and accept that gift. Accept that gift. And after you accept that gift or you're a Christian now and you accepted that gift, I challenge you to fall in love. Fall in love with God. You know, you'll see his greatness. And, you know, he'll shower you with his love. He, he just loves us and loves us and loves us. Even if we fail a hundred million times, he's going to pick us back up. And that's what we should be doing for, you know, for each other, you know. Um, you know, I coach and I see a lot of successes. I see a lot of failures and losses and a lot of people getting down and heads down. But we should always have our heads up as Christians, right? We're so victorious. We're victorious over this world. And we have a great place destined for us because our king is great. And I think some people, they just don't know how great he is. And I, I know they walk through their lives, you know, very prideful just missing something. You're missing something in your heart. And I'm telling you right now, that's God. I lived 25, 30 plus, you know, almost 30 years of my life trying to do this thing myself. Lots of successes, lots of failures, and none of it mattered. It really didn't get me anywhere. I was always depressed or, you know, had something missing. And Jesus came in my life and started showing me his greatness, showing me his miracles, showing me everything, showing me his love that no one else can give you. No one else can give you the unconditional love of going to a cross and dying for you and continuing to love you every single day, no matter how bad you hurt him, no matter how bad you fall away, he's always gonna love you and he's always reaching his hand ready for you guys. So what do you have to lose? Put the pride away, you know, and, and reach out your hand, see where it takes you. I know it's scary. I know it's, it seems f fantasy, but I'm telling you, give it a chance. Give God your life. Fall in love. And stop worrying about the victories of this world. And look for your destiny. I love you all, and thank you, and I'm hoping to get more videos out. There's a, a lot of things that God's putting on my heart that I just really want to share with you all. And get back to training. And always I ask for prayers uh, for our training, for our ministry, and uh, just help us to be the best we can be. Talk to you guys later.